get things started here at 67 kilos. Germany versus Lithuania. Ladies and gentlemen, this is KOK Classic 3 and we are live. KOK Super Fight, Blue Corner, fight representing Germany, Mehdi Ebadi. I think that there's uh, a lot of potential here. Really a lot of, of potential with these two fighters. Normally, the first part of the event, it, that's where you're going to find a lot of the young up-and-coming uh, fighters. You don't normally see it here on the second part. And I think that speaks volumes about how much uh, stock that the organization puts behind these two particular fighters. They somehow see them in a different light. They, they know that these two maybe are a little bit head and shoulders above the rest of the competition. They want to feature them in a bout like this on the second part of the card. Both men undefeated. El Badi, the man on your screen right now, 1-0 and oh, in Carosas. Mehdi El Badi, Germany. Ladies and gentlemen, a red corner, fight representing Lithuania, Vitas Carosas. Carosa is a very exciting fighter to watch. He's, he not only focuses uh, on his skills, but he's, he's a very unpredictable fighter. He likes to focus on the details, on these little tricks of the trade. Uh, he moves in a very unorthodox manner. When he's inside the ring, he has uh, a certain aura about him. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, exactly what it is, but he's another one of those guys that you can't quite take your eyes off of him. He just, he's got that charisma. He's got the it factor. He somehow draws your attention to him and then holds it there for the duration of the fight. Very interesting guy, both in and out of the ring and is uh, certainly not only going to put on a good fight, but also a good show. Vitas Carrosas, Lithuania. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, 18 years old, official height 171 centimeter, official weight 66.1 kilogram. His professional record, one win, no losses. Representing RSG, Germany, Mehdi Ebadi. Fighting out of the red corner, 19 years old, official height 179 centimeter, official weight 66.8 kilogram. His professional record, two wins, no losses. Multiple winner of SWA tournament, representing Fighter House Lithuania, Vitas Don Vito Carosas. Ring referee Saulius Shishkevichus, KOK rules, three rounds, two minutes each. Round one. And we are underway, and look at this. Carausas going right after his opponent ruthlessly. Keep in mind, folks, you can see the clock. That is not a mistake. Two minutes uh, on the clock here. Look at this. Carausas trying to finish this thing early, and things getting out of control. Whoa, hello. Want to talk about a uh, spectacular technique? There's one right there. 
oh man, did he get clocked. He just got his clock clean. A couple more shots landing cleanly as well. Abadi just started kickboxing uh, not too long ago. I want to say not even a few months ago, but he is a black belt in Kyokushin Karate. But he's a little bit out of his element here, as I can see. Uh, he's just, and there it is again. You can see that karate style, some of those spectacular techniques that they use. But uh, the, the, the quicker, clean kickboxing technique of Kerosas is just, it's just too much right now, it seems like. I mean, we have seen a lot of very talented uh, karate fighters make a very smooth, uh, nice transition uh, to kickboxing. Uh, but if he's only been training kickboxing for a month or two, uh, this is going to be a little bit harder for him. He's not going to know what exactly to expect. Look at that. He's eating big, big shots upstairs. Clean shots. Oh, good Lord. That one. Oh, and another one. How is he still standing at this point? His eyes are glazed over and he falls into the corner. This kid doesn't have a clue where he is right now. Time! And somehow he survives to the end of round one. If there had been another minute in this round like there normally is, if it was a three minute round, I don't know if he would have made it. Well, as the Bushido Angels do their thing in the ring, We'll go back and take a look at highlights from round number one. That was 110% Vitas Carosas all the way. Man, that was just uh, that was a lopsided round. You got to give Ebadi credit. He was fighting the best Kyokushin karate fight you could against a kickboxer. Fighters. He still doesn't look right. Look at his eyes. There's still a few cobwebs that have not been shaken loose here. And he better hope that one of those wild kicks there lands, because if not, Carosas may give him an early night here. That is a, such a bizarre kick. It's a spinning back kick, but it's somehow down around the knees. There's a low kick. I want to talk about a clash of styles. Certainly got one right here. Well, man, he he is not protecting his head, his uh, a, a body, and you know you don't see a whole lot of punches or, or kicks to the head in Kyokushin. Whoa, wait a minute now, in Kyokushin Karate, a lot most of the punches are to the body, and uh, you know so you, you may not have that in the front of your mind to protect your chin. Oh, and he's paying for it. He's paying for it big time. Oh, my. Turned his back on his opponent. Can't do that. Oh, and he caught a shot on the way down, but I think he was just trying to set himself up for some kind of a spinning kick. So it will not be ruled a knockdown. Another shot lands. And somehow looks like he's gonna sur <laughs> looks like he's gonna survive to the end of round two as well. Well that was not as good of a round as round one was uh, for Corosas, but I don't see how you could score it for uh, a body. So it's still, in my opinion, two rounds to zero in favor of Kerosas. This is a bizarre fight. 
Take a look at round two highlights here. Oh man, again, he's leaving his chin exposed and Karosas is finding the mark. But I mean, you gotta give the kick credit. I mean, he is tough. He has taken some of the best shots that Karosas could give him right on the money. And he just can't put him down. So Mehdi Abadi is just double tough. But he's just not uh, a kickboxer by trade. He's a fighter by trade, just not a kickboxer. Final round. They should make a rematch, rematch between these two under uh, Kyokushin rules and see what happens. Look at how hard he's throwing now. Garosa's trying to end this thing. Oh my! Now he's starting to feel it. Looks like a body is finally starting to get more comfortable in there. And you can see his, his timing has, has come back and a little bit of power as well. So whatever cobwebs there were in round one, Seem to have he seemed to have shaken them out, and also he seems to have shaken the mouth guard out of Kerosas. And here we go, back to action, hard body shots to start things off after the break. And the head kicks still being set up. Ooh, man, he almost caught him with the heel that time. Oh! Hard shots upstairs there. And it looks like a couple of times now that uh, Kerosas has just kind of collapsed down to the canvas. I don't know if that's because he's tired or if he's just lost his footing. But something seems a little bit off about him. Rosas clocked him a couple of times more, and the crowd ooing and aahing here. Hard body shots. This is such an awkward fight. And look at this, he's split wide open. And, oh, and there is blood just... Is that blood coming out of here, or is that something else? Well, maybe there is not. I don't know, I couldn't, I thought I saw blood. Maybe it was just a shadow or something. Oh, Lord! Look at his eyes! This kid's on a different planet. He's probably been knocked out three times in this fight, but he hasn't gone down. Here he comes! Oh, my! Time. And that's the way it ends. What an unpredictable and fun fight to watch there. <laughs> oh, my. At times, is completely out of control. Uh, Kerosas definitely got the better of him. Uh, he, he may have knocked him out, like I said, at least twice, maybe three times. But he just couldn't put this kid down. Man, what do you have to do to put down Mehdi Abda uh, Abadi? He's just tough as nails, as tough as they come. He looked good, too, in the, be in the beginning of round three. He somehow was able to pull it together uh, and, and put up a pretty good fight. But then right here, right at the end of the round, bam, look at that shot. Sent him through the ropes, and he still comes out. He can't even see straight. And he's coming right out after his opponent. That's amazing. That is a true fighter. Let's get the official word here. Ladies and gentlemen, KOK Classic 3, we are live. KOK Super Fight. After three rounds, by unanimous judge decision, the winner is... Red Corner, Vitas Carosas, Lithuania!
That's the correct decision, but you, I'll tell you what, special consideration needs to be made for Mehdi Abadi. This kid is amazingly tough, and he did fantastic for somebody who's not had the same kind of kickboxing experience as his opponent. We'll be right back at 80 kilos. Don't you dare go anywhere.